thank you for joining us on Data Cloud Now, where we bring you the latest in all things data in business and industry. I'm now joined by Armin Petrosian, co-founder and CEO of Colesk, along with Kent Graziano, strategic advisor at Colesk. Gentlemen, such a pleasure to have you on the program. Yeah, so glad to be here. Yeah, yet again. Yeah, let's do this. To start with, at Colesk, your main aim is to make the data transformation process as efficient and accessible as possible. As a founder, what advice would you like to give to the audience as they ready themselves for a proper data strategy? That's exactly right. That is our core mission. And if you remember last time when we were with Jay, one of our customers, when we did the last Data Cloud World Tour event, spoke about this. Really, he presented at that event, and I loved how he put it. And I, I always try to rephrase from our customer's standpoint, which is he described it as the coalesce effect. And when he invests in technology, whether it's Snowflake or coalesce or anything else in the stack, what he's looking for is something that serves as a force multiplier for his team or their users. And so when you're looking at technology as an executive, as a director level person, you want to look at it not from maybe the, the cost of the technology itself, but more so the total cost of ownership perspective. And that's where we focus. We want to help people be exponentially more productive when it comes to anything involving Snowflake. So if they want to do transformations on Snowflake, how can we make a data engineer, a data architect, a data analyst, or anybody in between on varying skill sets be as productive as possible and help them get to value faster? And so sometimes I see executives or C-suite people, for they, they, miss, they miss the focus on where to spend the money instead of focusing on the cost of the technology or the per unit compute cost, you should be focused on the, the, the big picture, the total cost of ownership. And that's where, that's where I would say is the most important thing as any executive that you should be looking at when you're evaluating any technology vendor. It's also why we're very passionate about Snowflake's business because we see that bring TCO down when it comes to databases all the time, so. Great to hear, always putting the customer first. Yeah. Ken, I want to take a step back and pivot to the data cloud. How does its ease of use allow you and the team at Coalesce to do more for your clients? Well, as you know, data cloud, it took so many manual processes to be automated, right? Uh, my career in data warehouse, we were always trying to get things done faster, easier, and the data cloud really did that with, you know, the automated optimizations, query acceleration, uh, to not say nothing, a data sharing, right? Being able to get access to external data sets so you can do more and drive those uh, insights, right? Faster and faster. And so that really allows people using Coalesce to not have to worry about that, well, I'll call it traditional database administrator functions. Right. Right? You can think more about what can we do with the data and how can we do something with the data faster and better yeah. than we could before. It's really about, as Armand would say, it's about the time to value. And I think really, when you flip it on the other side, Coalesce really tries to help Snowflake customers get more value out of their investment in Snowflake faster. It's a true partnership. Yes, absolutely. I mean, Coalesce is Snowflake only for that reason. So it can be optimized and focused on making that the most efficient process possible for doing transformations inside the data cloud, which is where we ultimately all want to be. Thank you for that perspective, Ken. We're currently at the final stop of the Data Cloud World Tour. The buzz, the excitement is all around us. You know, Colesk has participated in many of these events. Why is it so crucial to be part of many of these stops? Yeah, you know, as Kent said, we're exclusive to Snowflake. So we live, breathe, and die in this ecosystem. And we really made an investment in Snowflake's technology because we saw how it impacts businesses, again, from a total cost of ownership perspective. And really the audience and the philosophy behind Snowflake is all about how do we make what used to be a very complicated, redundant, tedious, expensive process as simple and straightforward for as many people as possible. And so for us, as we're going into the market and we're invested in Snowflake success, we want to help people accelerate from their on-premise database systems or their application to being able to get value out of their data as efficiently as possible. And a big part of that is coming out here, meeting with our partners, meeting with our customers, uh, you know, talking to new prospects, really helping Snowflake get to the destination that they're trying to get to. And so we, we 
love being at these events. This is some of the most fun that I've had in a really long time in my career. And so I, 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 I see it all as a critical step when we come out to these Data Cloud World Tour events, just as, just as we're so focused in this ecosystem. Great to hear. Thank you so much, Armand. Great to see you again here. Now we're in Santa oh Clara. God. The hot topic, gentlemen, is very much Gen AI and LLMs. As you both look at the year ahead, how will this technology continue to impact both companies and executives alike? Kent, let's start with you. Well, everybody's jumping on the bandwagon, right? We just, I just came out of a session on LLMs and what can we do with it and building chat bots to make it easier for people to do their jobs and how this is going to augment the jobs that we already have. It's not going to replace, it's going to change how we work. But I think in the next year, the biggest challenges for executives are going to be figuring out how to effectively use this technology. And I always talk about you've got people, processes, and technology. Well, we got a lot of technology with Snowflake and Coalesce that make doing a lot of things so much easier. But now, how do we use this technology properly? And to me, that's one of the biggest questions around Gen AI mm -hmm. and just AI and ML in general is are we using the data appropriately? You know, we talk about training a model on the wrong data, and then how do you back that out? And these are, these are process questions that organizations are gonna to have to start struggling with, and even, you know, ethics questions. I see there's, there's gotta be a growth in, uh, it's an extension of data governance, but it's ethics around how we use the models and what kind of models we build and what data do we feed into those models, you know, is, the old, just because you can, doesn't mean you should, mm -hmm. right? And so I'm really looking forward to seeing what people do in that area and figuring out, you know, how, how do we use the data appropriately, you know, the old data for good, basically. And we're going to be able to do it faster with Snowflake and all the features that Snowflake's now added in with Coalesce building pipe pipelines on demand and moving the data through quickly. Well, we got to make sure that that's governed right and, and people are really thinking about that. Armand, would love your perspective as well. Absolutely, I've said it before, I'll say it again. There is no AI strategy without a proper and good data strategy. And so again, you know, just to speak on behalf of one of our customers that joined us on some of these stops, uh, Patronix is doing some of the most cutting edge stuff on Snowpark right now. And it wasn't until they were able to adopt Coalesce to really provide a technology that was more broadly applicable for their team before they were able to get to some of the awesome, exciting AI and ML use cases. So really being able to support this ecosystem with a technology that helps catalyze people's abilities and companies' abilities to get to AI and ML use cases is how we see it playing out here in the near term future. Well, gentlemen, such a pleasure sitting down with you at Data Cloud now. Always a pleasure having Colesk on DCN. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud now. I'll see you soon.